Hello friends in this video we are going to discuss how to display MySQL table data into jQuery Boot Grid plugin by using PHP script. Boot Grid is a beautiful grid plugin for displaying database records. Boot Grid Grid plugin specially developed for Bootstrap. Boot Grid has easy functionality like lightweight, cross-browser support on Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome. Safari, Opera and HTML5 support. In this tutorial we will simply load MySQL table records into jQuery Boot Grid. By using this plugin we will get different features like instant table record search, how many entries display on single page, which table column data you want to show or hide. It will make automatic pagination and it also display total number of records in our table. This all features we will be get by using jQuery Boot Grid plugin without writing any line of code. Now let's start discussing how to load data into jQuery Boot Grid plugin. This is our testing database and in this database we have one student table with column like student ed, student name and student phone and in this table we have already inserted some data. We will fetch this data and display this data into Boot Grid plugin. This our index.php page and on this page we have already included JavaScript library jQuery link and bootstrap library link. By putting this link on head section of this page we will use functionality of these library on this page. After this we have include boot grid JavaScript and CSS CDN link from getting this site. After putting this link on head section of this page we will use all features of Boot Grid plugin on this page. For using Boot Grid plugin we want to put this to link on our working page. After putting all required link into our HTML page head section, now we want to fetch data from database. So for this first we have make database connection. So for this we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host set to localhost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to select start from student table order by student ID with descending order. This query will fetch records from student table. After this we want to execute this query so we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar connect variable which is database connection string and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store result into dollar result variable. Now first we have defined table definition for displaying student data, so we have write table tag with attribute it is equal to employee data and attribute class is equal to table table stripe and table bordered, this all our bootstrap library class and it employee data we use into javascript code for identify we want to initialize boot grid on table. Under this table we have write table head tag open and close and between this tag we have write open and close table row tag and between this tag we have write three table heading tag. In first table heading tag we will display student data, so in this tag we have write table head tag with attribute data column it is equal to id and data type is equal to numeric. In boot grid plugin we have to define data type of data. Suppose here we have not defined any data type then it will consider it is string data type. In second table head tag we want to display student name data, so in this tag we have write attribute data column it is equal to name and in third column we want to display student phone data, so in this tag we have write attribute data column it is equal to phone. Here we have write data column it attribute, by using this attribute we will identify particular table column in boot grid plugin. Now we want to print student data in HTML table so in table first we have write open and table body tag and between this tag we have write while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with argument dollar result variable. 
This function will convert query result into associative array and store into this dollar row variable. Here we have write table body tag because it is required in Taboot Grid plugin. Under this block we have write echo statement with text like open and close table row tag and under this tag we have write 3 table data tag and in first table data tag we have print studented data by writing dollar row studented variable. In second table data tag we have print student name data by writing dollar row student name variable and in third table data tag we have print student phone data by using dollar row student phone variable. This way we have print all student data into table and table body tag. Now we want to initialize boot grid on this table so we have go to query code part. So here we have write dollar employee data id. This is the id of table in which we have print all student data with boot grid method. This method will initialize boot grid on employee data table. So our code is ready for load my SQL table data into boot grid by using PHP script. So we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends we can see that all student data are displayed under table. On this page we can see only 10 data on single page. Above the table we can see one search box. From this search box we can instance search any column of this table data by writing query into this text box. After this we can show this text box right side there is two drop down menu. In first menu we can set how many entry you want to show on single page. We can change number of records entries by changing number from 10 to 25 from this menu. In second drop down menu. From this menu we can set which column you want hide from display into this table, this things you can do from this menu. Below this table you can see the pagination link, by clicking on this link you can see the next page record into table without page refresh, this pagination link has been automatic generated while boot grid initialize on this table. And lastly, you can see here. Here we can see total number of entries under this table, it display total 50 entries are available into this table. This are different features we can get by using boot grid query plugin by writing no line of code. This all features has been activated when initialize boot grid on table. So friends this is my video tutorial on how to load my SQL table records into boot grid plugin by using PHP script. If you like this video tutorial, please share this video with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.